Yeah. I think you'd be sitting on a gold mine if you did like a sriracha flavored protein shake uh, mix. Oh, so keep that in mind. I yeah. think you could really put your name so on you that. Cut that now, right? You didn't have to fight anymore. We are joined by none other than the UFC lightweight contender Scott Hot Sauce Holtzman. Scott, welcome. Thank you. Thank you for Very being nice. here today. We appreciate Very it. Nice. Thanks for having me, boys. I feel so safe. Yeah, doing this episode. It is right the now. safest I've yeah. ever felt in the Prius. Absolutely. Yeah, it, yeah, so uh, so thank you here. for being here. So we uh, we moseyed on over to Weigel's. We've been here before. This is no this is not news to you guys, but we wanted to, to do something spicy, obviously, to fit the motif of, of Scott here. Uh, and what we chose was the Tijuana Mama pickled sausage. And this is the one that brags, that boasts it being 300% hotter as well. So you like hot sauce, so spicy food is, is, is a thing for you then. You're cool with spicy food. Yeah, yeah, I'm cool with spicy all day, obviously. That's how I earned, right. <laughs> earned my earned nickname. The nickname. Yeah. Is there a limit to your spicy threshold? Is do do you, do you is there an area where you're like, no, nah, that's just too much. I'm not going to do that anymore. Well, I'm not as brave as I used to be. I'm not as young, but, um, you know, for this show, I'm I'm willing to go 300% hotter <laughs> than I normally do. <laughs> Going nice. on a cliff. I like it. I like it. He's... <laughs> I can't wait to break these open and get the whiff uh, yeah. because this is a pickled sausage snack, uh, Tijuana Mama. They've been around forever, as long as I can remember. Yeah. Scott, as a UFC fighter, I would wager you generally are a pretty clean eater, right? Yeah, this... Uh, <laughs> so, this so, we're right out, so we're good then. <laughs> this goes against everything <laughs> that I stand for. Other than not being able to pronounce the ingredients, yeah. anything with Tijuana just in the name. Yep. And packaged and you know there's a lot a lot of questions lot of question. there, well so you know is... it's gonna be great though when the first ingredient is mechanically separated chicken the more I move it around just the grosser yeah. the grosser yeah. it's getting here should we, uh, should should we, we just break them open and, and roll with it let's do it all right cheers oh this is the one time I'm, I'm glad my nose has been broken about 10 times <laughs> so. I would equate the smell of the bouquet of the uh, the wiener to like a dying an Easter egg. <laughs> <laughs> Let's take a minute to admire this yeah. too. We little, we're gonna shoot that after we're done. I was about to say, that's gentlemen, after we're done with the yeah. Tijuana Mama, we shoot the we shoot the sauce. That's here. what that's what the lady behind the counter told us anyway. Right. So. Gentlemen, should we take one in? Yep. All right. One, two, three, go. Gas, Gas station garbage. garbage. I'm not completely disgusted. Yeah. On the first bite. Slow burn spice for sure is kept creeping up on me though. Yeah. It's a little warm. Mm -hmm. Not terrible. It reminds me of like a <laughs> it reminds me of like a wet slim jim. <laughs> if you were to like soak a slim jim in vinegar. If you left a slim jim in your yeah. pocket and then washed it and then But you know, this this is America. It's not like this is our first rodeo with processed meat. That's very true. Yeah. Um we love processed meat. Oh man. There's a puke bucket down there. <laughs> the surface is almost too perfect, and that it really me is. A it's um, it, it's like it's a very smooth, um, sticky almost. Surprisingly to me, it has more bite, in my opinion, than a hot dog does, though. Like, or like a Vienna sausage. Yeah, or something. I was like expecting that. that texture, Vienna sausage. Yeah. Um, a little not, firmer. Not terrible. Spicy though. Nice spicy, and spicy. Yeah. And spicy. For sure. <clears throat> not yeah. Uh, not awful. Not an. <laughs> Not unbearably spicy, but but plenty spicy. This is adequately spicy. So, I, you know, honestly, less than 300%, I would set the bar right here if it were me for spicy. Yeah. 300% less spice wouldn't be very spicy to me. No, I, I agree. That would almost be no spice, I yeah. would think. Scott, you um, obviously have to cut weight for the UFC. You have to make that lightweight, uh, which is how many pounds? 155. 155. you got to make that. And what do you walk around at? 190. Man, holy crap! So you cut weight, you 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 weigh in, you go to your fight, you just demolish your last opponent, you come out of the ring, you do your interview. What do you eat out of the gate? What's the first thing you go for? I'd say probably uh, it's got to be pizza or hot wings. Pizza, nice. oh nice, yeah. nice. hot wings. Um, sometimes hot wings are just a little too much. If I can grab a slice of pizza and go, it's good. Hot wings are a lot of work, too. Yeah, yeah. a lot of work. So yeah. I, usually I want to just shovel in whatever I can. They have a, a green room in the back of the UFC where it's only fighters and corners, and they usually have a exclusive stuff, mm -hmm. exclusive, exclusive stuff right now. Golden diamond chandeliers hanging everywhere. Damn. Just uh, 
Oh, you know, all the fanciest caviar, everything. Ooh, really? No, not really. <laughs> they have an ice cream sundae bar, and, and usually, <laughs> at the, one time I got mad at them because I thought the food was too healthy. They had chicken breast and uh, some potatoes and you maybe have, zucchini and squash, and I was upset at them. You have literally just cut almost 25% of your body weight over the course of the last few months. You win your yeah. fight, and you go back, and they're trying to shovel zucchini yep. into you. Yep, I want all junk food. Yeah. Like, so don't put anything healthy near me. It's not a beef jerky. It's yeah. not a hot dog. Right. It's not a pickle, yet it combines the elements of all three into yeah. one amalgamation of uh, of craziness. Yeah. So, I was reviewing some of your, um, your fights today, Scott, and uh, I saw a comment on one of your YouTube videos, probably one of... Uh, of the best compliments I think a UFC fighter could get. The lady said, he, and it had a lot of likes on the comments, so many people agreed with it. He's like a cool Conor McGregor. Ooh. How about that? Throwing shade at like Conor. Like a cool <laughs> Conor McGregor. Um, I couldn't agree more. Yeah, I completely, there you go. You, you take it and you run yeah. with it. So, yeah. uh, um, um, again, and I would uh, I would agree as well. Yeah, I'd, I guarantee Conor McGregor doesn't need a Tijuana mama. Nope, he's sure. never done the third seat, has he? Conor! Challenge shots, has been shots fired. Yep, bow, bow, bow. your move, McGregor. I got to be honest, though. It's diminishing returns mm -hmm. as you're eating yeah. it. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it doesn't get better as you're eating it. It's not one of those foods where you eat it and you go like, well, I want another one of those. No, no, that's, no, no. Uh, that's yeah. delicious. I'm good for about another three years. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think uh, here in about 20 minutes I will. You regret start, it. Start my next weight cut. Ladies and gentlemen, here at Gas Station Garbage, we operate on a very scientific scale of 1 to 10 Gordon Ramsay's. With that being said, we'll yield to the guest, Scott Hot Sauce Holtzman. Scott? Man, you know what? I was pleasantly surprised by the spice. Okay. You know, a lot of yeah. times they advertise it, but it just it doesn't bring it. Uh, when it when it comes to uh, when it comes down to it, but I was pleasantly, pleasantly surprised with it. So, um, I mean, these days, a little too many artificial ingredients for me, but... Uh, Brought back some good memories, man. I'm gonna say uh, five Gordon five. Ramsay's out of ten. Solid. I think that's yeah. reasonable. Solid. Sure. Yeah. Looks are deceiving, and you know this is one of those judge a book by its cover type items. I think, in my opinion, right. there's nothing pleasing or aesthetically pleasing or inviting or seductive about this product. But if you give it a chance, and again, these aren't habit forming, so give it a chance. It's it's the the texture's not terrible. It's not really that disgusting. Uh, spicy. Chewable, edible, vinegary if you like pickled stuff, give it a shot. And I think this definitely warrants six Gordon Ramsay's. This is not any sort of premium item. So, you know, they're not they're not trying to reinvent or they're not trying to do any sort of culinary magic here. Nice. Excuse me. <laughs> but yeah. that's good. But uh, but yeah, decent, completely edible. Uh, these get a bad rep. Give them a shot. Not something that I would necessarily seek out on a daily basis, but um, uh, you know, I like sour things. I like pickles in particular, and uh, this kind of reminisced and, and reminded me of that. So, um, a slow burn spice, not unbearable. Um, we're not talking ghost pepper here. Just really warm. Um, and again, um, obviously, I ate it all, so it was it was okay. We've had much worse here on gas station garbage. Yeah, With that said, I'm gonna go um, similar to Scott. I'm going five Gordon Ramsays here today. It's a nice middle of the road junk yeah. food to grab. Uh, if they happen to be out of beef jerky or uh, or hot dogs on the roller food, go with the tea and one mama. Give it a, give it a chance. It's sour, um, it's salty, it's processed, and you know it, it's meat. So classic standard gas station garbage. Yeah. Scott, is there anything you've got coming up or anything you want to promote? Um, hit them with your Instagram. Yeah, Instagram at hot sauce holtsy. Uh, probably fighting again near the end of the year. Hopefully, uh, we'll head back to Las Vegas. Nice. Um, but. Uh, until then, just training, um, trying to stay away from stuff like the, this. These guys are bad influences, though, but I had a lot of fun today. Thanks for having me on. Hey, we appreciate sure, you man. coming out, man. Awesome. We'll put Scott's Instagram, Twitter, uh, and website down below. And don't forget, of course, uh, if you enjoyed this video, if you like what we're doing, if you're smelling what we're stepping in here, uh, hit that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. Hit us up on Facebook as well, facebook.com forward slash gas station garbage. Spread the love share the gospel, and until next time, I guess we'll uh, see you later. Peace. <laughs> That'll be the cold opening. Oh, oh it dripped. <laughs> <laughs>